and there I am. If you look a few steps behind, he's following me somewhere. So, how are you settling in this season? I think I've settled in pretty easy. Um, cause obviously, I knew the players start from my times in the academy and coming in and training, and also from my like, international duty. He's, uh, he's, he's good because uh, I play a lot of games and I feel that uh, I increase my, my skills. So, I'm very happy for this. Also, to discover another culture here because it's not the same uh, in France. So, yeah, I'm happy uh, with this move. And uh, I hope uh, that uh, on the future it will be better and better. And who are you closest to in the squad? And did anyone help you settle in? Now I'm probably closest to Conor Gallagher. But that's only because he just follows me around. And anyway, I am, if you look a few steps behind, he's following me somewhere. More naturally, I will say the French guy. Cool. I like to, to love with him, with Carney also. There are some guys that uh, they, they like to, to joke or or to love, so it's, uh, it's funny uh, when we are on the, the training to, to, to love with them. And who do you sit next on the coach to games? Well, it changes a lot, to be fair. Cole, Chili, Connor. But when um, Reese comes back, he moves whoever he wants, apart from me, obviously. Apart from me and Chili, Connor and Cole can get turfed either way. On my left is uh, Leslie, and on my right is uh, Carney. We have good conversations with them. We know when it's time to crank off. So we got no one that's annoying. Leslie, it's okay, but Carney, you know, sometimes he, he, uh, he put his stuff on my place. And me, I like when my place is my place. So sometimes we, we fight, but uh, I think now we, we understand. Do you prefer lunchtime, afternoon, evening kickoff? Yeah, I, I like to play in the evening. I, I think the mood is, uh, is better with the, with the light. Well, because when the game is too early, you know, you just wake up. And sometimes it can be difficult to to have a rhythm, you know? And I think for the show also is better. I prefer the earliest kickoff as possible. Evening kickoffs. It's a long day for me, I think, because you have to wake up, make sure you don't nap, make yourself food. So yeah, definitely earlier kickoffs I prefer. So Levi hates evening? Uh, no, because he want, he like to play early, mm -hmm. then he can go party, you know? I know him, but... <laughs> Captain Chelsea after coming through the academy against United, thoughts? Even growing up through the academy, I never thought I would have captained Chelsea at the age that I did. Still don't really believe it when I think back, I don't feel real. I think it's all down to the gaffer um, for believing in me and being able to let me captain the club. Um, and obviously the teammates were congratulating me on his amazing journey and I'm so proud of it. You scored your first goal against Brighton. How did you feel? What emotions were going through your head at that moment? Yeah, there's a lot of emotions. I thought I went in and then I didn't and then the ref gave it. And then I've uh, gone to celebrate because it's my first Premier League goal, first goal for the club. And then obviously I realised this gate's my my old team um, that I was on loan to. So I had to show some respect because, you know, I'm a big believer of everything happens for a reason. And I don't think I would have been here if they didn't give me the opportunity. But yeah, every emotion that exists, I felt at that moment, I think. It was, uh, was unbelievable. All my family was uh, was there, and yeah, for our first game in Premier League, score against uh, Liverpool, it was a feeling uh, that I will uh, never forget. I think. What's it like playing alongside Axel? He's a great defender, great on the ball. I can always trust him. If anything's going down his side, I know he's going to handle it. And especially with him celebrating every tackle, it kind of lifts the whole team, lifts me. He got me doing it a few times. I do really enjoy playing next to him. It's good, you know. He's uh, someone also that I, I like to joke in the in the training or in the in the locker room. But when we we are on the on the on the pitch, we feel the same uh, energy together. And I think the the game against City was the the perfect picture of this. We enjoy to to celebrate tackle, to to block shot, you know. Yeah, I, I hope that in the in the future uh, this connection will will be uh, great. And then on a similar note, Tiago Silva. Yeah, everyone knows how good Tiago Silva is. Everything he's won, everything he's done in his career has been amazing. My dad used to make me watch him uh, when I was younger, when I was about 12. And obviously, I used to just look up to him. And now to train and play next to him is amazing. Sort of a dream come true at the same time. Yeah, when you play with a, with a guy like this, of course, he, he helps you because you have so much experience, so much quality. It's good to, to, to learn what he, uh, what he, what he said. 
the toughest attack I've faced this season is probably Mo Salah. Um, so obviously I was playing left back, so obviously I was out of position. I felt really exposed this first game of the season. So yeah, he's really tricky. Obviously he's left where he likes to cut him, but he's still fast enough to go around the outside. So there's so many things you've got to stop. You know, it was a, it was a game for me to grow from, and I think I did. I would say Unison from Tottenham. He's strong, he's quick. I would say him. When you scored the own goal against Leicester, it's a crazy, it's a crazy <laughs> own goal. It's a good goal. First, you know, when uh, when I see the ball came inside the, the goal, I was like, oh, what happened? But then we have to move on because uh, the game was not finished. It was 2-1, uh, I think, for us. Stay focused and to forget this, and everything will be uh, will be uh, okay. And uh, the guys that they, they came in, they did a great job. Like uh, Moni and uh, and Carne, they make the, the difference. So on my mind, it was like okay, you score on goal, but you win. So yeah. You don't do any other sports, nothing. Paddle. Goal. Do I look like someone? Oh, I like a bit of golf actually. I got into it about two years ago, I'd say. And it's just so peaceful. I love it. Just going out there and you're on the green, like no one else matters. And it's just so nice. Sometimes I used to, to do some boxing, you know, to kick or we are to, to punch some something, you know. I like to watch basketball or tennis, uh, Formula One, you know, kind of like this. What's the last film you watched? Well, we watched uh, June 2, maybe the best movie I've maybe I've watched. We was all in the cinema. I'm looking around and you see everyone just getting excited. This is grown men watching <laughs> watching a movie, getting excited all together. Like it was amazing, and I need to go watch it again. To be honest, uh, at, this, at this moment I don't watch a movie, but a series. Now I start the the series of uh, by Conor McGregor. It's not the football, but the dedication on the on the fighting is great. You know, uh, all the effort that you have to to do to to fight and to to get results. And I think I can learn about things like this. So. Emerging player, piano. I started to learn piano uh, five years ago. I like the vibe of piano because it's something very calm that uh, you can relax. My favorite pianist is, I would say, Ludovico Inudi. His music is very calm. Sometimes it can be also uh, melancholic. And I like the melancholic also because uh, you can um, think a lot about this, you know. Another song that plays pre-match is called The Liquidator. You want that I learn this? You learn this from piano? It's not, it's not melancholic, this one. Huh? But could you play it? I can try to learn. No promises? No, I don't like promises. <laughs>